Welcome to Mindful Body Works Beginner Yoga, and today we'll be outdoors. I'm Kelly, and we're going to start in Mountain Pose. So let's go ahead and find a comfortable spot on your mat. You can have your feet apart, or if you want to challenge your balance, you can have your feet together. We'll relax those shoulders down away from our ears. Take a breath and close the eyes. Our intent is to root through all four corners of the feet. Slight bend in the knees. And just find a balance between the ball and the heel of the foot, somewhere in between. And find your breath. And then when you're ready, we'll inhale those arms up, up, up overhead, nice and slow. And exhale the arms down, eyes open now, inhale up. We're going to reach both arms out towards our right side. And then come back up to center. And we'll do it to the other side. Inhale up, reach both arms to the left. Just getting some movement here, exhaling down. This time we'll inhale up. And we're going to take one hand to the hip and reach up a little bit further. Coming back to center and down and do it on the other side. Inhale up. Hand to the hip. Reach. Arms up. Exhale down. Good. Let's get our breath moving. Inhaling and exhaling. We'll do three breaths. Just following one breath, one motion here. And on our third inhale, we're going to exhale. We're going to swan dive down, hinging at the hips, coming all the way down. I'm going to turn sideways just so you can see me. You can stay straight on your mat if you want. So know that you can always use a block or a prop here if you can't come all the way down. Or if you don't have that, you can always use your hands just on your thighs or your shins. We're just going to sway a little, get some motion here. Inhaling, we'll come to a half lift, straight back, straight neck, exhale down. And again on your next inhale, half lift, exhale down. And one more time, inhale, half lift, and exhale, back down, opening the spine. Taking both hands to the outside of our right ankle and just giving a little twist and then walking over to the left side, just a little twist. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our hands out on the mat and then take our feet back and step into a downward facing dog. So with this first downward facing dog, we're just pedaling out. We've got the knees bent. We're pushing through all 10 fingers. This helps take any pressure off the wrist. Find your breath here. You can drop down to the knees now to all fours. We're gonna do some cat and cow warming up the spine. So our cow, we're gonna have our belly towards the mat and then we're gonna arch up into cat on our exhale. And work with that a couple times with your own breath. Cow, we're inhaling. Cat, we're exhaling. Opening the spine. Breathing here. Making sure we're going at our own pace here. And then we'll come back to a neutral spine. And now we're going to add some legs in here. So we're just going to kick our legs back one at a time. If you'd like to challenge yourself, you can do one leg and then the opposite arm. You're pushing through the heel all the way back and you're reaching through the hand if you're doing the arms as well. Nice straight back here, looking down so we're not stressing the neck. And really squeezing all the way through the heel, working the glutes, warming up our lower body couple more and then coming back to center we'll go ahead and arch back up into our cat one more time and then we're going to sit back in a child's pose just to stretch out that back you can stack the fist or use a block here if you can't get your head to the mat 
You can relax your arms down behind you if you'd like, by your sides. Make this comfy for your body. Finding your breath here. And then when you're ready, we're very slowly just going to take those arms back underneath us and push ourselves up. We'll come back into our all fours here. And we're going to straighten the legs out and come into a plank. So if this is too much, you drop to your knees to a modified plank. So pick which one works best for you. We're just building some strength here in the body. So we're coming into our down dog and then we're going to rotate into our plank. Down dog and plank. Trying to find a flow here. Down dog and then back to our plank. Dropping the knees. Saying hi to Jasmine real quick. All right, so from all fours, we're gonna take those hands, nice and wide starfish hands, and we're gonna come back into our plank. Remember, you can keep your knees down for a modified plank. And we're just going to lower down with strength here. So inhaling here, and then on your exhale, lowering down. We'll inhale to a modified cobra. So bringing the shoulder blades, blades together and down the back. And then exhale, come back to the plank. Building strength here. And then when you're ready, you can exhale and lower down with strength and come into our modified cobra, or you can go ahead and lift up if you don't have any low back issues. Firming the legs, coming down, we'll go ahead and come back to our plank. We're gonna do this one more time. Nice, strong arms. Don't forget, you can drop those knees, lower down with strength. And then inhaling either to the modified cobra or coming up in to cobra. Firming the legs. And then exhale back down. We'll push back into child's pose again. Knees apart, feet together, stretching back, arms are extended out. We're gonna walk the arms over to the right side, still in our child's pose. And then come back to center, and then if it's comfortable, walk those hands out to the left side. And then coming back to center. One more breath here. And slowly coming back up to center. We're going to come into a side plank. So we're going to line up our knee underneath our left hip. We're going to have our left hand underneath our left shoulder. We're just going to open up to the side here. This is a modified side plank. If you'd like to challenge your strength, you can uh, bring that lower leg off the mat. Completely up to you. Listen to your body here. And then you can drop that knee down if you took it up and we'll come back to center and come to the other side. So stacking the joints, right knee under right hip, right hand underneath right shoulder. Check your foundation first, lifting the left arm up, up, up. You can remove that leg if you want to from the mat, the bottom leg. And if you've removed that, go ahead and bring the knee down and then come back to center. Good. you're doing great here. Nice wide starfish fingers. And push back into our downward facing dog. Breathing here. Maybe trying to get a little more extension this time. And then when you're ready, we're gonna lift that left leg behind you and then pull that left foot up into a low lunge. So bringing knee towards nose and then placing that back right knee onto your mat, lifting the arms. You can stretch out towards that bent side, so the left side, we just have both arms extended up and over, or you can stay center, up to you. And then when you're ready, we'll come back to center. We're gonna take those hands on the hips and we're gonna come into a high lunge. 
If this is too much for you at any time, you just drop that back knee and go back to the low lunge. So inhaling the arms up, finding a slow, steady breath, welcoming any heat that you might feel in your legs. Relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears. And when you're ready, we're gonna exhale the hands down to the mat and step back to down dog. And now the right leg's gonna extend behind us. We're gonna loop that knee towards the nose and relax the back left knee. So low lunge on this side. Inhale the arms up, up, up. And if it's comfortable, you can reach out over to the right side, still lifting up through the fingertips. And then coming back to center, we'll bring those hands to the hips. And then with strength, we'll lift up into our high lunge. Again, if this is too much, you can stay low. Sweeping those arms up, breathing in. Every exhale helps you to sink a little bit more. And when you're ready, we'll take those hands back to the mat. And we're gonna step back into a plank. We're gonna lower down with strength as we did before. Inhale to our Cobra or modified Cobra. And then exhale back down. We're gonna push back into our child's pose and find our breath again. Being mindful of a slow, steady breath here. And then go ahead and come back to all fours. We're gonna come into puppy pose. So this is a little different. It's also called melting heart in yin yoga. You can use a block underneath your forehead or something. Rolled up towel will work as well if you can't get your head to the mat. But our hips are over our knees and then our arms are extended forward. So breathing here. We wanna be pushing through the arms, pushing through the palms of the hands onto the earth. So we're activating those arm muscles. And then when you're ready, scooching those forearms back under, coming back to all fours. I'm gonna go ahead and lift the hips and come back into downward facing dog. Pedal through those legs, get some circulation in there. And then we're gonna step our feet up. You can step to the top of the mat or the middle, it really doesn't matter. We're just hanging low here for a moment. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Again, inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. You can clasp your hands or grab a wrist behind the legs. Get a little bit better stretch here, or you can grab the back of your calves. And then release when you're ready. We'll come back into our half lift. So inhaling, half lift. And exhaling back down. On your next inhale, we'll go ahead and reverse swan dive all the way up to a standing position. And we're gonna come into a balancing pose. So you've probably seen our tree pose. Lots of variations here. You can keep your foot on the ground, arms wide for balance. You can have your hands at heart center. You can have your foot below or above the knee or on the floor as we started, completely up to your balance. I want you to find a spot and just kind of gaze at it. If you're in the full tree, you want to have your foot and your inner thigh pushing in together. You can challenge yourself by extending the arms up if it's comfortable. And if you want to challenge yourself even more, you can try to close your eyes. When you're ready, bringing your hands heart center and then relaxing back out of the pose. Coming to the other side. So again, you can have your foot above or below the knee, just never on the knee joint. 
hands heart center or out wide for balance. You can even spread those arms up, spreading your branches towards the sky, breathing, gazing at a spot here. Again, if you want to challenge yourself, you can always close your eyes. And then when you're ready, you can bring your hands back to heart center and slowly relax out of the pose, kicking those legs out. A little circulation in there. So we're going to inhale the arms up. Exhale, we're going to swan dive down. Feet are apart now. We're going to have a nice bend in the knee. And we're going to sit into a chair. So lifting the chest up, keeping the hips back. Exhale, relax the head back down. And inhale, chair pose again. Really keeping your navel pulled in towards your spine here. Exhale, back down. And we'll do this one more time. So we're going to inhale, come into our chair. This time, if you want to challenge yourself, you can come into balancing chair. This is more of an intermediate. And when you're ready, go ahead and relax the head back down towards the mat, straightening the legs, swaying from side to side. And just breathing. We're going to go ahead and come down to the mat. So bending those knees nice and big. We're going to come into a butterfly pose. I'm going to show you a trick. If you can't sit up straight, maybe your hips or your low back don't allow it, you can sit on the edge of a block. And that helps you to get your spine nice and straight so that you can lean forward into butterfly. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and take the block out. We're going to take the left leg long. Right leg's going to cross over the left if possible. You're just going to hug that right knee and twist towards your right side. So lifting up through the spine here, just a real easy twist. Coming back to center slowly, switching legs. So you can, if you don't want to cross the knee over, you can just have it bent, twisting towards that left side. So do whichever one of those is best for you. And then coming back to center, we're going to go ahead and lay down if Jasmine lets me here. Coming all the way down into our final resting pose or Shavasana. So we're going to bring our shoulders down away from our neck, bring our low back down away from our shoulders, relax the hands by our sides, palms facing up. And this is where we want to connect with our breath. So closing your eyes and just inhaling and exhaling. So inhaling deeply through the nose into the belly, feeling our belly rise with air. And exhaling, completely squeezing that belly button in towards the spine. And just keep flowing through this breath, connecting with the earth below, relaxing anything that pops in your mind. And I want you to try and stay here for the next few minutes if possible. And this is where I'm gonna leave you, so namaste.